Right then, we're off to do a quick dyno run. See what see what power we can get. Obviously, CGA three with a four two one. Nothing else has changed. Apart, well, apart from the back box, but um, yeah. So eighty horsepower originally. So if if none have escaped, I mean eighty five, maybe just over eighty because of the manifold. But the mid section is a bit restrictive, so I'm unsure on that. But yeah, I mean, standard engine, so 80 horsepower would be good, see what we get. And then we're going to be doing some mods over the next few weeks and see what power we can get at the end of the NA motor. So yeah, let's head to RRS, Rolling Road something. Rolling Road something up in Lye. And yeah, let's jump in on there and see what we can get. This engine loves to rev, so I'm not too worried about putting it on there. My only concern is that we might not get on because the car is too low. So I'm, I'm a bit worried about that because it is literally like a couple of inches off the floor. But we'll have to see what happens when we get there. so much across as well, kept the brakes on. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the front, to be fair. It's literally there, there the problem is. Literally got... That much slope. That, no, you've got that much slope of your arm, just missing the road, unless you need to get it exactly back in that position, like, right? but... Yeah. Three. Push it off. Who's push it back straight? Yes. Technically, it should be back. So it did feel fucking fast. Like not fast 
for some yeah. stuff I've driven, but like for 80 horsepower, it felt fast. Obviously, you've got to ignore the 8,000 RPM. It's probably a good six and a half there, isn't it? Six, eight, maybe. Yeah, it goes for a while, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you look at the graph as well, it's, it's near as damn textbook. Yeah. yeah. There's not much wrong with it. Yeah. You, you don't know that maybe the one litre ECU or something might have more advance on it or, or anything like that. So it could be giving it a bit more timing or, or anything. But I think the Japanese engines are good. Yeah, they are. And like I say, if you've got an half decent 421 on it, it does make a difference. And yeah. To be fair, there's a lot of. There's a lot of companies that say in the like early 90s, late 90s and that bit. Because they made more power than what they said. Yeah, just because yeah. it saved them on tax and shit yeah. like that. Like. Well, yeah, they do. But the other thing is, as a Japanese engine gets older, it gets better. And then like a Vauxhall engine gets worse. Like, a, fi I mean? like a fine so, whiskey. Like. Yeah, like a fine whiskey, exactly <laughs> that. That's yeah. exactly what I thought when you pulled up. Yeah. That is there, a fine whiskey. You thought that? <laughs> That's a 40 year aged piece of shit there. <laughs> I kind of always liked him in a, in a weird way. In a soft spot kind of way. Yeah, a little soft spot, I don't know why, but yeah. I've never owned one. Yeah. But, uh, it, you know, definitely wanted to, to rev. Yeah. Right, I just finished power run. Way more power than expected. I thought he was joking, to be honest. 101 horsepower from the engine. Uh, 69, I think, to the wheels or something like that. And yeah, I didn't expect that. 80 horsepower is standard. Obviously, we got the manifold on there, but that's crazy. 101 horsepower. So it's a good starting figure. It'd be good to do the upgrades now and see what we can get. That that's a good that's a good start out um, power figure. That is. So yeah. CGA3 with the manifold, 101 horsepower. And yeah, we've got mods coming up. We've got cams, intake, piggyback ECU, all sorts coming, so stick around. We're going to Kerbera sprint track in a couple of weeks, putting a bit of track time in. It's just a little it's just a little figure eight track that you just go out one at a time on. It'd be cool to get some little track time, so yeah, that's in two weeks, so expect that video out. Just chucking it around track and yeah, should be sweet man. Thanks for watching.